Audit, Wikipedia article audio. An audit is a systematic and independent examination of books, accounts, statutory records, documents, and vouchers of an organization to ascertain how far the financial statements as well as non-financial disclosures present a true and fair view of the concern. It also attempts to ensure that the books of accounts are properly maintained by the concern as required by law. Auditing has become such a ubiquitous phenomenon in the corporate and the public sector that academics started identifying an audit society. The auditor perceives and recognizes the propositions before them for examination, obtains evidence, evaluates the same and formulates an opinion on the basis of his judgment which is communicated through their audit report. Any subject matter may be audited. Auditing is a safeguard measure since ancient times. Audits provide third-party assurance to various stakeholders that the subject matter is free from material misstatement. The term is most frequently applied to audits of the financial information relating to a legal person. Other areas which are commonly audited include Secretarial and Compliance Audit, Internal Controls, Quality Management, Project Management, Water Management, and Energy Conservation. Information Technology Audit Accounting As a result of an audit, stakeholders may effectively evaluate and improve the effectiveness of risk management, control, and the governance process over the subject matter. The word audit is derived from a Latin word audire which means to hear. During the medieval times when manual bookkeeping was prevalent, auditors in Britain used to hear the accounts read out for them and checked that the organization's personnel were not negligent or fraudulent. Moyer identified that the most important duty of the auditor was to detect fraud. Chatfield documented that early United States auditing was viewed mainly as verification of bookkeeping detail. An information technology audit, or information systems audit, is an examination of the management controls within an information technology infrastructure. The evaluation of obtained evidence determines if the information systems are safeguarding assets, maintaining data integrity, and operating effectively to achieve the organization's goals or objectives. These reviews may be performed in conjunction with a financial statement audit, internal audit, or other form of attestation engagement. Due to strong incentives to misstate financial information, auditing has become a legal requirement for many entities who have the power to exploit financial information for personal gain. Traditionally, audits were mainly associated with gaining information about financial systems and the financial records of a company or a business. Financial audits are performed to ascertain the validity and reliability of information, as well as to provide an assessment of a system's internal control. As a result of this, a third party can express an opinion of the person slash organization slash system in question. The opinion given on financial statements will depend on the audit evidence obtained. Integrated Audits Due to constraints, an audit seeks to provide only reasonable assurance that the statements are free from material error. Hence, Statistical sampling is often adopted in audits. In the case of financial audits, a set of financial statements are said to be true and fair when they are free of material misstatements a concept influenced by both quantitative and qualitative factors. But recently, the argument that auditing should go beyond just true and fair is gaining momentum. And the U.S. Public Company Accounting Oversight Board has come out with a concept release on the same. Cost accounting is a process for verifying the cost of manufacturing or producing of any article, on the basis of accounts measuring the use of material, labor, or other items of cost. In simple words, the term, 
Cost audit means a systematic and accurate verification of the cost accounts and records, and checking for adherence to the cost accounting objectives. According to the Institute of Cost and Management Accountants of Pakistan, a cost audit is an examination of cost accounting records and verification of facts to ascertain that the cost of the product has been arrived at, in accordance with principles of cost accounting. Assessments In most nations, an audit must adhere to generally accepted standards established by governing bodies. These standards assure third parties or external users that they can rely upon the auditor's opinion on the fairness of financial statements, or other subjects on which the auditor expresses an opinion. The audit must therefore be precise and accurate, containing no additional misstatements or errors. In the U.S., Audits of publicly traded companies are governed by rules laid down by the Public Company Accounting Oversight Board, which was established by Section 404 of the Sarbanes-Oxley Act of 2002. Such an audit is called an integrated audit, where auditors, in addition to an opinion on the financial statements, must also express an opinion on the effectiveness of a company's internal control over financial reporting, in accordance with PCAB Auditing Standard No. 5. There are also new types of integrated auditing becoming available that use unified compliance material. Due to the increasing number of regulations and need for operational transparency, Organizations are adopting risk-based audits that can cover multiple regulations and standards from a single audit event. This is a very new but necessary approach in some sectors to ensure that all the necessary governance requirements can be met without duplicating effort from both audit and audit hosting resources. Auditors The purpose of an assessment is to measure something or calculate a value for it. Although the process of producing an assessment may involve an audit by an independent professional, its purpose is to provide a measurement rather than to express an opinion about the fairness of statements or quality of performance. Performance Audits Auditors of financial statements and non-financial information can be classified into three categories. Quality Audits the most commonly used external audit standards are the USGAAS of the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants, and the ISA International Standards on Auditing developed by the International Auditing and Assurance Standard. Performance audit refers to an independent examination of a program, function, operation, or the management systems and procedures of a governmental or non-profit entity to assess whether the entity is achieving economy, efficiency and effectiveness in the employment of available resources. Safety, security, information systems performance, and environmental concerns are increasingly the subject of audits. There are now audit professionals who specialize in security audits and information systems audits. With non-profit organizations and government agencies, there has been an increasing need for performance audits, examining their success in satisfying mission objectives. Project Management Quality audits are performed to verify conformance to standards through review of objective evidence. A system of quality audits may verify the effectiveness of a quality management system. This is part of certifications such as ISO 9001. Quality audits are essential to verify the existence of objective evidence showing conformance to required processes, to assess how successfully processes have been implemented, and to judge the effectiveness of achieving any defined target levels. Quality audits are also necessary to provide evidence concerning reduction and elimination of problem areas, and they are a hands-on management tool for achieving continual improvement in an organization. To benefit the organization, 
quality auditing should not only report nonconformance and corrective actions but also highlight areas of good practice and provide evidence of conformance. In this way, other departments may share information and amend their working practices as a result, also enhancing continual improvement. A project audit provides an opportunity to uncover issues, concerns, and challenges encountered during the project life cycle. Conducted midway through the project, an audit affords the project manager, project sponsor, and project team an interim view of what has gone well, as well as what needs to be improved to successfully complete the project. If done at the close of a project, the audit can be used to develop success criteria for future projects by providing a forensic review. This review identifies which elements of the project were successfully managed and which ones presented challenges. As a result, the review will help the organization identify what it needs to do to avoid repeating the same mistakes on future projects. Projects can undergo two types of project audits. Other forms of project audits Energy audits Formal, applies when the project is in trouble, sponsor agrees that the audit is needed, sensitivities are high, and need to be able prove conclusions via sustainable evidence. Operations audit Informal apply when a new project manager is provided, there is no indication the project's in trouble and there is a need to report whether the project is as opposed to where it's supposed to informal audits can apply the same criteria as formal audit but there is no need for such a in-depth report or formal report. External auditor slash statutory auditor is an independent firm engaged by the client subject to the audit to express an opinion on whether the company's financial statements are free of material misstatements, whether due to fraud or error. For publicly traded companies, external auditors may also be required to express an opinion over the effectiveness of internal controls over financial reporting. External auditors may also be engaged to perform other agreed-upon procedures, related or unrelated to financial statements. Most importantly, external auditors, though engaged and paid by the company being audited, should be regarded as independent. Cost auditor slash statutory cost auditor is an independent firm engaged by the client subject to the cost audit to express an opinion on whether the company's cost statements and cost sheet are free of material misstatements whether due to fraud or error. For publicly traded companies, external auditors may also be required to express an opinion over the effectiveness of internal controls over cost reporting. These are specialized persons called cost accountants in India and CMA globally either cost and management accountants or certified management accountants. Further information, cost auditing. Government auditors review the finances and practices of federal agencies. These auditors report their fines to Congress, which uses them to create and manage polices and budgets. Government auditors work for the U.S. Government Accountability Office, and most state governments have similar departments to audit state and municipal agencies. Further information, Internal Auditors Secretarial Auditor slash Statutory Secretarial Auditor is an independent firm engaged by the client subject to the audit of secretarial and applicable laws slash compliances of other applicable laws, to express an opinion on whether the company's secretarial records and compliance of applicable laws are free of material misstatements, whether due to fraud or error and inviting heavy fines or penalties. For bigger public companies, external secretarial auditors may also be required to express an opinion over the effectiveness of internal controls over compliances system management of the company.
These are specialized persons called company secretaries in India who are the members of Institute of Company Secretaries of India and holding certificate of practice. An energy audit is an inspection, survey and analysis of energy flows for energy conservation in a building, process or system to reduce the amount of energy input into the system without negatively affecting the output. An operations audit is an examination of the operations of the client's business. In this audit the auditor thoroughly examines the efficiency, effectiveness and economy of the operations with which the management of the entity is achieving its objective. The operational audit goes beyond the internal controls issues since management does not achieve its objectives merely by compliance of satisfactory system of internal controls. Operational audits cover any matters which may be commercially unsound. The objective of operational audit is to examine three E's, namely, effectiveness doing the right things with least wastage of resources, efficiency performing work in least possible time, economy balance between benefits and costs to run the operations. Internal auditors are employed by the organizations they audit. They work for government agencies, for publicly traded companies, and for non-profit companies across all industries. The internationally recognized standard-setting body for the profession is the Institute of Internal Auditors IIA. The IIA has defined internal auditing as follows, internal auditing is an independent, objective assurance and consulting activity designed to add value and improve an organization's operations. It helps an organization accomplish its objectives by bringing a systematic, disciplined approach to evaluate and improve the effectiveness of risk management, control and governance processes. Thus professional internal auditors provide independent and objective audit and consulting services focused on evaluating whether the board of directors, shareholders, stakeholders and corporate executives have reasonable assurance that the organization's governance, risk management and control processes are designed adequately and function effectively. Internal audit professionals are governed by the International Professional Standards and Code of Conduct of the Institute of Internal Auditors. While internal auditors are not independent of the companies that employ them, independence and objectivity are a cornerstone of the IIA professional standards, and are discussed at length in the standards and the supporting practice guides and practice advisories. Professional internal auditors are mandated by the IIA standards to be independent of the business activities they audit. This independence and objectivity are achieved through the organizational placement and reporting lines of the internal audit department. Internal auditors of publicly traded companies in the United States are required to report functionally to the board of directors directly or a subcommittee of the board of directors and not to management except for administrative purposes. As described often in the professional literature for the practice of internal auditing, or other similar and generally recognized frameworks for management control when evaluating an entity's governance and control practices, and apply COSO's Enterprise Risk Management Integrated Framework or other similar and generally recognized frameworks for entity-wide risk management when evaluating an organization's entity-wide risk management practices. Professional internal auditors also use control self-assessment as an effective process for performing their work. Consultant auditors are external personnel contracted by the firm to perform an audit following the firm's auditing standards. This differs from the external auditor, who follows their own auditing standards. The level of independence is therefore somewhere between the internal auditor and the external auditor. The consultant auditor may work independently, or as part of the audit team that includes internal auditors. Consultant auditors are used when the firm lacks sufficient expertise to audit certain areas, 
or simply for staff augmentation when staff are not available. A control self-assessment is a commonly used tool for completing an operations audit. Forensic Audits Also refer to Forensic Accountancy, Forensic Accountant, or Forensic Accounting. It refers to an investigative audit in which accountants with specialized on both accounting and investigation seek to uncover frauds, missing money, and negligences. Regular Health Check Audits The aim of a regular health check audit is to understand the current state of a project in order to increase project success. Regulatory Audits the aim of a regulatory audit is to verify that a project is compliant with regulations and standards. Best practices of NEMIA Compliance Center describe that, the regulatory audit must be accurate, objective, and independent while providing oversight and assurance to the organization.